Today, we're gonna to be comparing the cameras on the Z Flip 3 versus the Z Flip 4. Here's the mic test, testing one, two, one, two. This is what it sounds like on the Z Flip 3. Testing one, two, one, two. This is what it sounds like on the Z Flip 4. So if you have the three, is it worth upgrading to the four? In my opinion, no, I don't think so. There are some minor improvements which can be helpful or can be useful for you specifically, but I feel like for the majority, it's not worth upgrading. On a Flip 4, you get the updated processor, the battery is a little bit bigger, and the camera, the main camera sensor, is just slightly bigger. So it, you should see some improvements, but I don't think you will see it by a lot. Now the biggest game changer for me on a Flip 4 is being able to record in clamshell mode in the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Now I think it's logged on 1080p, which is the downside, but I hope they can fix that in the future. The second thing is I can double tap on the screen to zoom out to see pretty much all of my shot instead of being zoomed in and just see my face. And on a Flip 3, when you're recording in clamshell mode, it's stuck in the score aspect ratio, which I did not like from the very beginning, and I'm glad that they fixed it on the Flip 4. Today, I booked the tea experience at Kitsby, which is a dessert bar in Brooklyn, so it's kind of far away from here, but let's see if there's any differences in the cameras. Looking at these two cameras, they are so similar you can barely tell the difference i would say the biggest one you will see is probably the colors and for hdr sometimes the flip 3 will do better and sometimes the flip 4 would do better so it's really hit or miss Even when you're underground in low light, the bigger sensor on a Flip 4 doesn't make a huge difference in terms of everyday situations. For the front camera, the biggest difference here is the colors. I do like the skin tone on a Flip 4, it does look much more warmer and I guess more vibrant and saturated so I do prefer that look over the slightly flat look on a Flip 3. For the front, it's the same camera so it looks very similar on both phones. But for this HDR shot, there are slightly less noise on the Flip 4. Now for the main wide camera, again, so similar. The biggest difference here is the colors. Sometimes the Flip 4 is more saturated and sometimes the Flip 3 can be more saturated. But for the most part, I would say the Flip 4 have more vibrance than the 3. And for video, that orange sign does stick out more on the Flip 3 than the Flip 4. And also the HDR, even with the back building, it does look or it does stand out more and the HDR seems to be better. But of course, it depends on the situation you're in. And this is a side-by-side -side shot of how the square aspect ratio look like last year versus this year with the right aspect ratio for TikToks or even for actual video. And here is my favorite reason why I like using this phone is that I don't have to bring extra gear with me. I can just prop it up and record myself and it does capture less attention because that tripod will definitely get looks from people around the restaurant or wherever I'm shooting. So less gear needed and I can record myself faster. Now moving on to Instagram, when you do save the file, especially the video file, you first see some pixelation at first and give it a couple seconds until it goes away. It's fine if you just shoot and upload right from the Instagram app, but that's if you only save it. So if you do want the best quality as possible, then shoot from the main camera app, the stock camera app, and then upload it on Instagram. Since I like to do random zooms on an Instagram camera app, I want to see how well it looks and the Z Flip 4 does look better. And in terms of the pictures, of course, slightly different colors, but for the most part, they look very similar, nothing really huge or drastic. And even if the Z Flip 4 does have the bigger sensor, the background blur looks very similar as well. Next up is portrait pictures, and I found out on a Flip 4 in clamshell mode, you can actually go into portrait mode, whereas on a Flip 3, you can't. So that is another consideration why you should upgrade because for people who don't like taking pictures of themselves or even video, the Flip 4 does make it more comfortable because of the shape and how discreet it is. Whereas the Flip 3 would have to open it and take pictures that way. And for portrait mode, the colors and the skin tones, I do like the warmth and more of the saturation coming out of the Flip 4 than the 3. But it's all preference, maybe you would like the more natural and less saturated look on the Flip 3. Now for low light, this is the area where maybe you just see some differences on a Flip 4, but for the most part, they are very similar. You can barely tell. Of course, the coloring is a bit different, but for the most part, the noise is still there. I would say for video, the Flip 4 is slightly cleaner. It may not matter, but it is kind of more noticeable. Not unless you're in really dark situations, 
then the flip 3 performs just nearly as good as the flip 4. Where the biggest difference you most likely see is in night mode, which is obvious that it's so much better than the flip 3, but that's only if you use night mode a lot. So if you still are considering upgrading, the biggest day-to-day -day improvement that I've noticed is just the user experience with the front cover screen. Yes, the battery is a bit bigger and it can last a bit longer, but if you're still vlogging all day and shooting photos, you, you're still going to be carrying a battery bank with you anyway, so at that point, it doesn't really matter. So those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think or if you're planning to get one at all or even upgrading. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.